Hello, my name is Hector. Welcome back to Hypermine. We are back here. We are back. We are back. Uh, I missed an episode last week. Uh, many apologies for that. Um, some some stuff went down and it wasn't very pleasant, so I had to skip an episode. But it's all good now again. It's all fine. We are back. We are at the Iron Farm. If you haven't seen this already, this is our Iron Farm that MC Soap the Great has graciously built for us. Uh, so go check Soap's videos out on that if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little project uh, for him today. Uh, and this is his ender pearl delivery system. So this is the spawn point of the world. And um, basically what happens is ender pearls will get delivered from the end and they'll from the end portal they'll come here and then they'll get put into a a massive wait let's see if I can just quickly see it I think through here there's a sorting system yeah look at that that's some of the sorting system right there uh, which is amazing he's done some awesome work so I haven't if you haven't been paying attention to his videos definitely go check him out uh, links as always to every hypermind member is in the description uh, if we go out here this is the entrance so you can see now open now open and soap has done some astounding work in here this looks so cool look at it look at it oh man this place is lovely i really like it look at it looks really good I like this place looks awesome just looks class like it i love the chandeliers i love those that 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 is brilliant look at it that looks gorgeous. Like this is such a nice thing. So this is where the iron golems kind of fall down. Um, such a nice kind of area. Really nice. Just really, really nice. And uh, basically, we have like loads of things. Look, look at all the drops. Um, redstone. This is from the witch farm. Um, which I presume has he hooked this up, or is he going to hook this up? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. Um, and then over here. Is this is this the iron? Yes, this is the iron, and he's even put these uh these things in. These are so basically what you can do is craft iron blocks, uh, which is very cool. I like that, uh, and some iron blocks there, uh, some poppies if you need poppies, and then the ender pearls. So we get ender pearls to here, which is amazing. Um, this is I mean this is an amazing project. Like it's a completely amazing project. So if you haven't if you haven't checked his videos out. Def oh, I don't know what you're doing. Like, what are you doing? Go check it out because look at all this. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. Anyway, um, let's get on with the actual project. So, Soap is building a. Oh, wait. Is this the. Yeah, wrong exit. Wrong exit. Soap is building a castle here. That's the kind of project. And what he is kind of. Well, actually, no, I won't. I won't go into that. Um, he's, he's, bu he's building a castle and he's asked me. He's asked me to kind of would I be interested in building a fountain uh, in the kind of medieval style uh, over this spawn point so I was like yes yes I will do that that sounds like a cool little project so uh, there are a few caveats uh, to this fountain uh, first of all first of all let's, let's munch uh, this has to remain open so that's where the ender pearls kind of drop in uh, and secondly Secondly, there's no doors. No doors allowed, no wooden doors because there's an iron farm here that would break it. Um, <clears throat> and I, of course, of course, as soon as he mentioned that, I really want to, I really want to build a fountain with wooden doors. Uh, that's like a challenge now. I might do that at some point. So, um, yeah, I have no plans for this at all, at all. Um, but what I figure is that I'm going to probably have to kind of, uh, maybe if we do that for now like that i'm gonna to have to put like a, a ring around this kind of going up just because that's gonna to have to be hollow so let me do that i might move that at some point maybe i can move it down one i don't know uh i'll see but uh let me do a little bit of prep work and then i'll be back right then uh, this is the fountain there you go it's done it is done it is complete look at it isn't it pretty and uh, we're going for it's a very modern thing it's a waterless fountain it's a new kind of feature of a a very modern fountain. Uh, no, of course not. Of course not. I'm being daft. Um, this is just the the kind of uh, the the funnel that needs to be there just to allow the ender pearls to kind of come through. And soap said that we could, you know, we could remove the leaf block and have water kind of funnel to that part. But I think that'll be kind of a harder 
a harder design to pull off actually so I kind of think that this is going to be um, easier now what I normally do when I build fountains and I have built a few fountains is I kind of start with the base and what I'm a little bit worried about is that we don't have that much space on this side so that is gonna that's gonna impede us a little bit um, it's quite close to that wall so we can't make it too massive um, can't make it too big uh, because usually what happens is that either uh, the kind of base is the biggest and then it gets kind of smaller as you kind of go up or it starts off quite big uh, and then the things go big but then the base still has to be you know bigger than the the top part if any of that made sense but if you look at fountains that's kind of that's kind of the general style that's kind of the general style so and obviously normally I wouldn't have a uh, a kind of hollow bit in the middle as well so that's made it a little that that section already a little bit bigger so that's a bit bit more of a kind of oh it's a challenge it's a challenge a design challenge so from here we got one two three four can we go that big in that direction as well one oh wait hang on wait what that's one oh dang it dang it dang it dang it dang it there we go uh two three four that would be three four there and then one two three four so I might have to move some of his things here um, I'm sure that's okay I'm sure he wouldn't mind he won't mind too much okay so that's not too bad and let's just bring that out as well um, but that's just to give us a bit of a a bit of an idea of how big this needs to be and then hmm right I don't want to make this too large like I say um, come out one more and then do a bit of that so that would be like that like that like that and then that would just be a straight line I don't like that so maybe we've come out there, there and then yeah there that is the kind of pattern and then that is that is just touching that wall and I think we'll get away with that I think we will get away with that so let's just copy that this is it's like a circle basically um that's a really good kind of way to to do the base of a fountain so what have i done i've done one like that then two then one and then wait wait uh oh does that need to come out one doesn't it i think that's what i did wrong there we go uh, uh yes yes that is correct then that there that there like that let's move the torch for now and I can't put another torch here let's just put it on there for now uh, so one like that then two then one then yes okay so that goes there <laughs> and we do is that correct yeah one there like that one like that and then one two one and one two and one okay cool uh so i'll move this i need to let's just take a screenshot so i know what those things say and uh, let's get rid of these and i'll put them back i'll put them back don't worry about it don't worry uh hitbox where is it there we go uh and then you need to come out bam bam and let's put a torch just there there we go okay so I think that is a good kind of base for the fountain that's a yeah that's a pretty good base now next kind of thing that we need to look at is is whether this is going to be the kind of I can take these out there we go although I quite like that I quite like the kind of sectioning of that or I don't know that might be something to look at uh, there we go there we go okay so <clears throat> next thing to look at is where we kind of might want the water to come kind of flowing down um, maybe something like that so that's the kind of then that would be flowing I imagine here which I think is a good a good point so that's only two out you see that's not very much that is not very much um, but I think that's a good height for it so let's let's kind of mark that out 
This is kind of how I build my fountains as well, by the way. Um, I recently built one on my single player, not that long ago, and that came out really, and I just kind of kind of made it up as I as I was recording, which that's why I thought, hey, <laughs> let's let's see if we can do another one that way. Uh, but I might that might have just been beginner's luck. That might have just been beginner's luck. Um, I'm gonna take this tree down. I'm sorry, Soap, if you wanted it, if you were attached to it. Um, apologies. I can always replant a birch tree. I'm sure that'll be okay though. You know what? I've been playing so much modded then that I was uh, I was very confused when that didn't immediately start despawning the leaves. Um, oh, which way? Can I get up? Can I get up again? Okay, there we go. So we have that. And then I imagine what we're gonna have somewhere up there is. Can I can I reach that? Is another one that is that kind of high. Something like that. So that the water kind of cascades down onto there and then it cascades into the actual kind of bowl bit here. Something like that. Um can I can I No, I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Let me maybe <sighs> <laughs> let me let me do this off camera and I'll kind of start designing a little bit around it just to just to see what I can what I can come up with and and then I'll see you in a bit here we are you can see I've been placing some blocks I've kind of come up with something maybe I'm trying something out uh one of the things that's upset is been losing a lot of kind of spruce logs as you saw kind of in the in the entrance hall which looks awesome so I thought I'd try and use some kind of um, spruce logs in the design as well because he kind of he wanted it to be medieval and I yeah I thought let's try and use some logs I've also not kind of built one now I'll put a second leaf block oh it's raining um over here I'm not sure if I'm allowed to but let's just put that water there that should all kind of cascade down nicely which it has let's get down here uh, let's also get the bed out and let's just let's just put this on let's clear the weather and clear the day again just because there we go that's much better lovely stuff and you can see that's now kind of cascading down quite nicely um yeah that's not too bad that's not too bad and obviously I'll I'll kind of do something. I don't know about the design kind of fully yet, but maybe if we did a bit more of this here, something like that, uh, just to kind of break up that spruce a little bit. I quite like that. I quite like that. It's a little bit different. Um, yeah, I yeah, I do quite like that. That's quite nice actually. That's quite interesting. That's a little bit, a little bit uh, unusual. Um, now I don't know what I could do there. I did think briefly about maybe adding like another water stream at like on this kind of diagonal. It would probably end up being from there though. Like at that kind of this uh where are we? This block it would be. I think it would have to be. Um I've also started kind of working at, uh, along the sides. I quite like that. And uh, just for now I don't know how we're going to finish that off yet. But that's a start again using the spruce. Um, he's also been using dark oak wood, not the logs, but the wood and prismarine. Now he's been using normal prismarine. I only have some dark prismarine, so I might, I don't know, I'll see if I can work some of that in. That would be nice to, but I quite like that. Um, so what I think I'll do, I'll assume that I can use the leaf block up there. Because uh, what happens if we don't use it like that, if we just put the water source block just in that kind of bit there, what happens is that it kind of doubles up and creates a second kind of water stream there, which I don't want. Um, so yeah, obviously we would have that on every side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm gonna do all of this on every side and I'll get back to you and we'll see how it looks and hopefully I'll find out whether or not I can use that leaf block up there as well. So let me do that and then we'll see how that looks. So that is what we have now, which I think looks okay. It's a little bit wood heavy, so we're gonna probably add some kind of more brick like we have down here. Uh, this isn't finished either, obviously. Um, but I think the kind of the actual fountain bits work quite nicely like that. I think I quite I do quite like that. I, I enjoy that. I think that looks nice. 
Um, I am wondering about whether to put or like another kind of water stream uh, in the kind of diagonals. Maybe, maybe might do something with that. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know. I don't know if that will look good or not. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm messing around. I'm I'm kind of thinking. I don't know what to put in the middle there yet either. I uh, haven't quite decided that because obviously, and I kind of it's one of these blocks that I kind of do wish they would add. Um, you know, I know a lot of people want slabs and stairs, but I would love them to add the option of of having that corner block uh, without having to have stairs uh, either side of it because I would love to put another stair just there in that corner there but I can't because it'll just it'll kind of rotate one way or the other uh, and I can't have the corner one I would love that there that would look so much nicer uh, so I don't know I'm not sure Yeah, let's do something like that, maybe? Maybe like that? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like something kind of needs to go there a little. I'm not sure. I'm not sure kind of whether to there, keep that really, just like that or whether you know, maybe we should add But you get what I mean. Um, else. I don't think so. so yeah, a little, little bit and more I don't kind think of we'll be adding anything like that. Here, what I, probably I don't know. Think I was kind I will of do. Maybe uh, there, thinking maybe we, can we come would reach here. Uh, do we? I don't know. I we? was thinking we could do something a bit crazy like that. Um, again, as something a little bit different, but. I don't, I don't know. I also thought maybe we do a little bit, and maybe on top of mm. this bit here as well, uh, uh, like that. Oh, well, not there. So it's kind of, you know, kind of offset. And maybe actually we do the same there as well. Can I do that like that? I quite like that. Again, that's a little bit. It's a little bit odd. It's a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll I think we're gonna do that. Okay, cool. Well that is something um we just we just did. We just discovered. I like that. I think that looks yeah, a bit cool. Uh it looks a, a little bit more like a railing. I quite like that. So let me try a few more things. Let me finish off this bottom bit and I will return with more things. More things. Right. Well, for me, I am actually, back and as you can see that one there, added, we do little caps uh, of stone kind of slabs on there. Yeah, and I've like kind of placed them there. I think I'm gonna add them there as well. Oh I quite like um, that. I quite like and that. And what I just thought as well, just to add onto that, would be two Ah, now, hang on, uh, I need to, yeah, so put one of these, can I? There we go, put that there, just to, again, add a little bit more detail, I I don't want to add another one because that won't join up, but well, let's try it, let's see, I don't think that'll, although actually, actually I don't mind that, I don't mind that at all, that it doesn't connect, um, I quite like that in fact. So let's let us let us let us get up here. There we go. <laughs> um, and you can see I've just left that here. So I might add some kind of glowstone or um, sea lantern, something to give that a little bit more light. I always like lighting up my fountains. I just think it looks kind of cool. And um, if you do, uh, so let's go here. Let's jump up a little bit higher, higher still. Uh, let's just do that so we can connect. So that goes there. One, two, like that. I might need to make a few more of these. Yes, I'm going to have to, because uh, I have something else in mind. Uh, and then, we will get some more of these bad boys. Like that, like that. Whew. This is like the best parkour that I've ever done. And if you do 
you know, kind of parkour stuff in Minecraft, you'll be laughing at that, but it really is. I'm really not good at it. Now, um, the top looks really weird like that. So, I think we're going to add a little a little bit of a of a something something to it. Oh, that was that was close. That was close. That was close. Um right, I need I need a crafting bench. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, cuz I need some more wall. There we go. Let's get that 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 that. Um, and I think what we'll do is something like that, maybe? Uh, what I want is that, 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 and that. Then, I don't know. I don't know, really. Hmm. don't know whether if we need something like that, maybe? That's a little bit, a little bit odd, but that might work. That might work, that might just work, let me do that. I'm back up here. I think this is a little, potentially a little bit too high. So, I think we need to take all of this down a couple of blocks. So let's just do that quickly. There we go. Like that. There we go. Uh, and what I think instead Mm, I think we'll put these here, and then we'll add maybe two like that. And I oh, and I don't have enough, and all oh, the crafting benches down there. But we can go get it, and then swim back up. Ha ha ha, ha ha! I've beaten the system. I've beaten the system. There we go. Um, let's put that there. And because I think as well, just had another th little thought. Um, actually. Let us use dark oak. Um, and that be enough? I think so. If we put that there, there we go, like that. Boom. My inventory is so full now. Let's just get rid of you. Let's turn you into sticks so I have at least one open space. Uh, and I need more wall. Dang it. And now I have no open spaces. All those bricks that I brought along with me were way, way overkill. Um, I really didn't need that many. Uh, so, and then I think if we put maybe one of these, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of. <laughs> can I? Can I get on there? Come on. There. There we go. Uh, there and. Did I only make three? I thought I'd made six. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Um, I just, no, I just need that. I just need that. I just need that. There we go. Uh, that and that. And then that. There we go. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. Uh, where are we? This one here. Come on. There we go. Let's have a little look-see at that. Crafting bench we can't take anymore. Goodbye, crafting bench. Um, there we go. Let's, oh no, I can't get it. I can't. Oh, and I'm now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in here. Let's swim up. Let's swim up and get out. There we go. And what does that look like? Um. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Potentially this. Uh, I don't know, it's almost kind of okay. I think it's almost something that I like, but not quite. So let me mess around. I'm going to go pick up some um, some prismarine, I think, as well. I think we might put some down here. Uh, so I'm going to go do that, and then I'll be back for one last time, hopefully, and we'll finish this fountain off. All right then, there we have it. I think this is the completed build. I kind of changed that up a little bit there. I uh, took one of the cobble uh, fences out so it's a little bit lower and put another kind of stone slab up there as well. Uh, and I added the prismarine down here, added some glowstone. I'm gonna add glowstone just under these uh, cobblestone walls as well. That's just still dirt. But I think that is it. I think that's the build. I quite like it. I am. Um, 
I realize some of you might not like it with the kind of the spruce logs. They are quite chunky. Um, but I, I don't know. I, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit odd. Um, and I quite, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that. Um, I'm enjoying that. And, you know, it's quite, it's a bit of a challenge, this one, because obviously we had to keep the middle hollow. So, but it was fun because of that. You know, challenges are really good to build around sometimes. They kind of make you, well, you, they make you focus on, uh, on, a, on a thing and sometimes that kind of breeds better kind of creativity so uh, I quite enjoy this now hopefully hopefully we are okay and that other leaf block up there is fine if not we're gonna have to kind of you know mess around and hopefully hopefully this is okay that he's not too upset that it's quite close to that or that I've completely misunderstood everything and he didn't actually want me to build a fountain here as well it was like somewhere over there so all these things are possible uh, and if so, you know, I'll talk to Soap. I'll have a chat with Soap and see what he thinks. Hopefully it's all good. Uh, but yeah, I think that is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like or comment is always very much appreciated. And uh, of course, make sure you are subscribed, not just to me, but everyone else on Hypermind as well. Go check them out, especially Soap for all his good work over here. The sun is setting. The sun is setting. I'm going to just finish off and do a few more little bits, put in that glowstone there. You can see that dirt but other than that thanks so much i've been active this has been hypermind and i will see you in the next episode bye bye